What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Sky High Outdoors. This week we're going into the trip me and Stace took to the Grand Strand which is around Myrtle Beach specifically we stayed in Polly's Island where we did some fishing and we did some beaching. It was the first weekend this year that we've been to the beach. Probably my favorite trip so far this year. Um, I can't wait for you guys to check it out. Be sure to check out some of my other videos of us fishing and all the boat repair type stuff. With that all being said, enjoy the video. We were particularly fired up about this fishing trip because we knew and we've been reading a lot about Merle's Inlet and the, how great the fish, the trout fishing there had been recently, especially with topwater. And I was really excited to go out there and just do some topwater trout fishing. So we were really excited. We pulled up to our first spot and this was a spot that I had scouted out for a good while on, on Google Maps. There's two or three main points in the creek um, with a deep hole and it, it looked super fishy, very fishy. There, there was points, like I said, there's current, there was oyster shells. There was just all the makings of a good spot. There was bait everywhere, fish blowing up on top. I mean, we were really, really confident that we were gonna come here and score some nice trout. The conditions out there when we first got out there on Saturday were pristine. I mean, it was just beautiful sunrise. The clouds were making the sunrise very colorful. The water was calm. It was just amazing out there. I could not get, like, I could not ask for a better day out there. It was just beautiful. As we got into it, we saw so many fish blowing up, so much bait. They're all glass minnows, um, and a few mullet here and there jumping. Ooh, ooh. But for the most part, it was, it was straight up glass minnows and a lot of action on top. So I eventually hooked up to something. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a very nice trout. The way my rod was bending and my reel was screaming, it seemed like a very nice trout. Unfortunately, my drag was too tight and I lost it, which was a devastating blow. Um, but we got over it and just kept fishing on hard. Um, we switched up the spots. We went through a couple different points within the creek. Eventually though, the weather kind of turned sour and uh, we got some rain sprinkles here and there and we just weren't really feeling like dealing with that. And honestly, the bite had slowed down. We didn't see nearly as many top water blow ups as we were seeing earlier in the morning. So we figured it was time to wrap it up and head back to the ramp. After a slow morning of fishing, we definitely needed a vibe change and it was crazy how the weather changed. I don't know if this was due to or the sea breeze holding those clouds off, but being on Polly's Island and it just looked like amazing. It looked like we were in Florida. out here he loves it
After a really nice day on the beach, enjoying the sun and the beautiful, beautiful water, we decided to hit the sack and get up early again on Sunday with a similar game plan as Saturday. Considering all the top water we saw, we figured we at least would, you know, have a chance of snagging up at least one fish. So we headed out to the same spots, um, hit those points, saw all the blow ups again, and just, I don't know why it just didn't happen early in the morning. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know, but that's fishing. We can't, we can't control when the fish bite or when they don't. Uh, so we moved on, drove around, tried some other spots, didn't really have much luck. Um, went through a nice canal that had a bunch of houses on it with no water, stagnant current flow. So I figured we weren't even, we fished it a little bit, but nothing really to mention there. Eventually we drove past the boat ramp and went back around out to the main creek and um, we pulled up on a spot that was a shell bank. Um, There's a creek, creek, shell bank, water was coming through here pretty quickly where the shell bank come out. Um, and so I was like, you know what, let's try here. And as soon as we got there, I, I hooked up what I thought was a fish, but it got off. And so I was like, okay, well, oh, this is promising. So we stayed there, fished a little bit. Uh, we moved from the shell bank over into like the actual flowing water. And uh, we weren't seeing much. We saw the blow us again, but I was like, wait, those are not trout. Those are bluefish. And shortly before that, Stacy was fishing with the Slam Shady, the white paddle tail Slam Shady, and it just got bit clean off. And so, where I was like, okay, well these are bluefish, so I'm gonna change to a hard a hard lure. And so when I changed to that hard lure, a black and silver hard minnow crankbait, basically saltwater one though, and I saw one of those things blow up, and bam, hooked up. Oh yeah, go. <laughs> we weren't having much luck with any other fish, so we decided to catch bluefish. Oh, that's a mackerel, I think. Yeah, it's a mackerel. Nice guy, great job. Let's go. First fish, y'all. I'm so glad to have just got something in the boat. Wow, Let's get it. Beautiful. Man, this thing is. Oh my gosh, he's throwing up glass in his Great right, fish. Oh. Get the release. We did some more driving around and Merle's in it looks pretty fishy, uh, but I will say there's a lot of pressure there, at least during the time we were there, considering um, it was spring break. I'm sure that had a lot to do with it. Um, but I definitely want to go back and try it again once the flounder and stuff move in just so we have more fish to potentially catch. I had a great time anyways. It's always fun when you explore new areas and ultimately we didn't get skunked and I caught a nice Spanish out there. So, I mean, that was a really cool fish. Something I hadn't caught of that size uh, yet. Be sure to check out my other videos, Stace and I's adventures out here. Uh, fishing and fixing up the boat, her learning tools, all that stuff. Uh, we got more videos coming out, especially because I just have a bunch of maintenance to do on my boat. So be sure to check those out. But until next time, y'all, tight lines and good tides. Peace.